The Red Worm boss fight solo is easily the hardest thing in Modern Warfare Zombies. So this video is going to guide you through how you can complete this boss fight entirely on solo from someone who has gone and done this over five times. But all of the tips and tricks you need are going to be in this video. So if that sounds good to you, then drop a thumbs up and let's get going. So by now, I assume you know how this Red Worm boss fight works is there's an Easter egg where you need to get four USB sticks around the map. And there's a map in this building above Levin Resort, which shows you pictures of the four locations in your game. Now, this video isn't going to go in depth on every single location, but I have an on-screen map created by myself and the friends over at Detonated that shows all 12 locations for the USBs as well as all the possible spawns for the Red Worm boss fight. And if you want to open this and look at this later, it's linked down below in the description. If you want an in-depth video showing you visual video of all the locations for the USBs, then there's an interactive card in the top right. Once you have the four USB sticks, the main port of call you need to pay attention to is looking at where the storm is on the map and then using that storm, work out the location of where the boss fight is going to be. And you can find that by the two ammo caches next to each other that are fairly near to the storm. Now, if you're attending this solo, you ideally want to go into a game where the storm is as close as possible to the ammo caches. That way you get as much time as humanly possible. Now, in order to take the worm down in enough time as a solo player, you need to have a weapon with enough damage, which means it needs to be tier three pack a punch and be legendary. Otherwise, you just won't do enough damage to beat this boss within the time limit. So let me show you the loader that I use to beat this solo. So for my tactical, I'm going to use the experimental gas. It used to do insane damage to the act three worm is nerfed a lot, but I definitely think being able to throw a grenade that does damage over time is definitely better than not having this. And for lethal, either the Thermites or the Aether Blade. Thermites is, I think they could be pretty good over time again at taking out armor on the worm. The Aether Blade is really good for those super sprinters that will be up in your face in the fight. If you have access to the schematic, then I highly recommend the golden armor plate so that it automatically applies plates during the fight. Otherwise, you're just going to lose precious time plating when you could be shooting. We're also going to need a large backpack as well as a durable gas mask, which can only be purchased from the tier three buy station. This is extremely important because the entire fight takes place in the storm. And by using the two ammo caches in the boss fight, you can actually replenish your gas mask back to full. So one of the most important mechanics during the entire boss fight gameplay wise is you need to be paying attention to your gas mask so that you can repair it at the ammo caches. Otherwise, you'll slowly take damage in the storm and you'll constantly go down. With that large backpack for the solo fight, I fill the backpack with as many self revives as possible. And for your weapon, I'm going to recommend an assault rifle for mobility and damage being the SVA or the MCW. For the SVA, these are the attachments that I recommend you use. And if you're going for the MCW, then these are attachments that I recommend you use. Now, the way that the worm's health scales is based on how many players are trying to take it out in the game. So what you're about to see in the video is the base health of this worm when it's just one player taking it out. If there's three players and the health is three times, if there's six, then the health is six times. And once you have the four USBs, you've found the location for your boss fight and the storm starts coming in, the moment the animation begins of putting your gas mask on, you want to be at refractor ready to apply the USB. And once all four refractors are activated, you have exactly one minute until the boss fight appears. If you have a buy station nearby, this is the perfect opportunity to try and quickly go to the buy and buy any more self revives to get back in time for the boss. But if it's too far, then don't waste any time doing this. And now to explain the entire boss fight with all of its attacks and mechanics, we're going to explain it all whilst beating the boss in real time. Let's refill this and here we go. Here it begins. So I'm going to just fire all I can into the shards here. As you see, it spat out four shadowy orbs. So give it about 10 seconds or so. Those orbs are going to come flying back to us. And we need to destroy them ASAP. If you don't take them out... Oh, we missed one. If you don't take them out, this allows the, the, the worm boss to take a little bit of a regeneration. Not a lot, but it is a tiny bit. So we just need to make sure... Sentry gun's doing the work right now. That laser attack, if it hits you, that is an insta-kill. Just need to watch out. We also need to be very, very aware of our durable gas mask. Because we need to be refilling that at the ammo. We've got two that we can use. Need to watch out for the purple orbs. They'll be coming back any moments. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And now he's borrowed underground, okay? So we need to watch out. You need to watch out for where he's borrowed. Because he's going to be coming to get us. Okay, that's still on a cooldown. We should be good. Is he back? He can swallow us. No, he's back. He didn't swallow us. Okay, that's good. Let's refill. Grab that. Right. Keep firing. You can see there is just so many elite zombies that are trying to get us right here. It's actually pretty nuts. Need to watch out for the uh, purple orbs. Are they coming back? Yep. One hit us. It's coming back again. Yep. Taking them out as efficiently as possible is honestly the hardest skill in this boss fight to do. On top of not dying to zombies 
getting hit up there's the orb i think we took one out took the other one out there's still one there's still one i'm just gonna keep focusing my fire though still good on gas mask still good on gas mask and the sentry gun so far is doing a decent work at getting some of the zombies away from me a little bit there is always just one that always just seems to nip at you all right we've got more orbs coming in need to watch out for them oh that slam that hurts that slam it really does hurt wait where are the purple orbs okay he's just spat some more out so we didn't have any until that point which is pretty good kind of awkward though that he's on an ammo cache okay so now we've got to wait wait for the, the orbs to come back destroy all of them lovely right let's refill our ammo if possible oh we're gonna run around here to the other one okay he's respawned he didn't swallow us which is good okay another gas grenade down i don't actually know if they do a lot of damage but any damage that i can do against the boss on top of what we're already doing i'm gonna try my best to do okay there's the purple orbs got rid of them and these elite zombies are sprinting now this is horrible I think I just had a mangler get killed. I don't know what killed it. Watch out for the laser. Dodge the laser. I need to watch again for another shot of his purple orbs. Okay, we've got the laser again. That's fine. Still really good on gas masks. Still really good. Yet to take it down. I don't want to jinx it. That's going to be a slam down on the ground. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We are so good right now. In terms of time, we are good. It's the zombies that are going to kill me more so. I think he just spat out some uh, some purple orbs there. So we got to watch out. Look behind you. Look behind you just in case they fly back at you. Okay, I think that might have been actually where he spat some out. Let's make sure we refill that. Yep, the orbs are coming back. There we go. Amazing. Progress-wise, we're doing really good. He's just spat out four more purple orbs. He potentially might burrow. Yep, there we go. Let's focus on taking out some of the zombies. Let's take out some of these purple orbs. Oh, we managed to get two there. Tracking them with a controller is honestly one of the hardest things. Okay, so now we've got the swallowing moves. So when he swallows you... Oh, he didn't swallow me that time. Okay. Sometimes if you press jump, he might not swallow you. But we don't want that to happen. We want him to swallow us because we can do a bit more damage that when he does that. That cost us a little bit of time, but we should still be fine. Oh, there's the purple orbs. Oh, I need to get rid of one. I need to get rid of one. I'm going to throw down the energy mine. I might take it down here. Okay, there's, there's the last purple orb there. Nice. Okay, we need to go to an armor. We need to roof our ammo, I mean. Thank God for the golden armor case for regenerating health. Okay, you spat out some more purple orbs. So we've got to wait... Maybe another 10 seconds or so and they'll come back to us. Oh my god, just... Yeah, they've all come back. Tracking these is so hard. Okay, there we go. I think, we think we're good. I think we're good. No, one more. Honestly, tracking them on solo is so hard. Okay, he's burrowed underground. We really want him to swallow us because if we can get in his mouth... We can do some pretty good damage. Okay, is he going to swallow us? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Here we go. Is he going to swallow us? No, he didn't swallow me again. I don't know what I'm doing different. I'm not doing anything out the ordinary. He's just brought out some purple orbs there. Okay, we're looking really good though. Really, really good. I'll watch out for the purple orbs though. I don't know where they are. There they are. Honestly, they are so hard to track on controller. Your aim assist does not go to them whatsoever not that i'm saying you need aim assist little slam there let's get ourselves a refill on the ammo okay we need to watch out for more than purple orbs there we go he's just just throwing some out throw down another gas nade look behind us look behind us ready for them purple orbs there they are there we go took them all out and we continue going we continue going He's burrowing, he's burrowing. Right, now I want to try and get as much kills as I can on the zombies to not only get rid of them, but also to try and get some ammo. Okay, here we go. Is he going to swallow me? He's not swallowing me. I don't get it. If he does swallow you, you need to fire into his mouth, then immediately spam your jump. All right, you need to spam jump. 
That's how you get out of that move. Okay, let's... Oh, Lord. Could be potential first down. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, I do need to get an ammo refill. Let's run back, run back, run back. We've got six minutes. We've got so much time. Let's go back this way. Watch out for that laser. He fired out any purple orbs. Doesn't look it, but there we go. He might. He's just sent them out. He's just sent them out. Honestly, I think choosing not to ADS might actually be more beneficial for us in the long run. Right, them orbs, where are they? Should be coming back to us any minute now. He's borrowing. Where are the orbs? There they are. Okay, there we go. We've got all the orbs. Okay, I'm going to run over to the ammo cache. Is he going to swallow us? He should swallow. Oh, no. No swallow. I don't know what I'm doing different to make him not swallow, but usually he does swallow you. Okay, he sent out the purple orbs. Oh, that's a bit of an armor breaker there if he hits you with a laser. Okay. More damage, but also watch out for the orbs. Oh, I didn't manage to get any of them that time. Okay, I think I managed to get them all. All but one at that point. Okay, I need to go to Amaka. Oh, nearly got stuck there. That was that was a, that wouldn't have been good. Okay, he's borrowing again. Oh, purple orbs. Oh man. They are a pain. Okay, he's borrowed. Is he gonna go for us? I think if we keep sprinting, there we go. Is he gonna swallow me? Yes. Okay, so in here, you've got to just shoot, 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 and then spam your jump because he will spit you out so quick. And if you aren't ready, then you will die and you'll take her down. Imagine I do this without going down once. I will be so impressed. Oh, God. I was not ready for those at all. Where do they go? Did they respawn? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Lord. Some of them still live. Let's take down that one. There we go. Okay, we're still looking really good for time. Really good. Oh my god, it's just... The, the amount of zombies you have is genuinely insane. All right, I'm going to go try and go for another ammo refill. Yeah, but it's going to borrow. Okay. One more purple orb. Okay, no, we got a whole of a load more. Okay. Oh, what? These orbs, I need to take them out. That's allowing him to regenerate his health a little bit, which isn't good. Right, focus on that over anything else. Okay. He spat four more out. Not good. All right. Focus up, John. Focus up, John. Okay, he's burrowed, and here come the orbs. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. I need to make sure I take out these mimics because if they swallow me whilst the worm does, I'm going under the map. Oh, again, he didn't swallow me. Hello? I don't understand what happens. Why that's why that's not working, but... Okay, he spat out some orbs. Okay. That's a slam. That's a slam. Oh, no, that's a laser. We are doing so well need to keep it up it's just the orbs man the orbs oh okay you swallowed me so i'm shooting i'm shooting i'm shooting i'm spamming my jump spamming my jump oh okay we're good we're good right let's go to the ammo cache oh my god that's where the mimics are coming from he's spawning them oh man i need to take these orbs out and he's just spat out some more Okay, he's borrowed. Where's the orbs? Where are the orbs? Hey, I need him to swallow me. Sounds so weird. Swallowed and... Yes, I'm in. Hey, okay, shoot, 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 shoot his mouth. Shoot his mouth and spam. Shoot his mouth and spam. Definitely lost a bit of time here. And I don't know exactly where. But we're going to try and work it out try and make up for it we are so close now there's the purple orbs oh my god it's so hard to hit them bro We've got 70 seconds can we do this
We've got more orbs. Post boss fight John back here again. And it seems like I might be able to do this within the 60 seconds. But suddenly you'll notice that this game goes from being very, very likely to almost impossible to beat. And that's because walking into that suddenly stops my reload animation, which costs me a little bit of time here. And then just coming up, he's borrowing underground again. And rather than swallowing me up like we've been wanting him to for the rest of the game, because that does crazy damage when you're in his mouth, he flings me up in the air, doesn't swallow me. And this costs literally maybe about 10 to 12 seconds of time here. As you can see, I, you can't redeploy your shoot until you drop down really low. And then at this moment, he borrows immediately again. So I don't even have time to shoot him during all of that, which means I've lost maybe about 25 seconds at this point, maybe 30 seconds where he would have died by now. But look at this with 10 seconds left. Do we do it? Well, I'm going to let this footage play out because I was in disbelief that we still managed to do this. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. No. Right in the last second. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. But not... We did it. Even though it's too late. Oh my God. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. But what happens? What happens? We can leave. So upon reflection, that boss fight for the first half was pretty much perfect. We did incredible damage in the time frame that we had and things were looking good. But the fact that the worm just didn't swallow me into its mouth, instead kept spitting me up in the air, cost me several seconds, probably approximately 50 seconds total. And then right at the end where it didn't swallow me, instead I was flying for 10 seconds and then it immediately burrowed, cost me easily 20 seconds of time. So really this boss should have been beaten at about the 1 minute 10 mark. And the fact that the moment I landed here, the worm immediately borrowed, cost another 10 seconds where I just couldn't put any damage into him. I had some really unlucky moments, but we still somehow managed to get it. One massive tip is when it throws you up into the air, you need to make sure you aren't pressing your jump button because instead of it swallowing you, there's a chance that it instead won't do that. I was not pressing the jump button in this gameplay whatsoever, but instead it chose not to swallow me, but that's a huge thing. And a text prompt that you saw up top is that you need to have the auto redeploy for your parachute enabled because if it throws you up in the air like that you will not be given the option to open your parachute which is awful and you will go down but if you're attempting this on solo best of luck to you but this proves that it can be done even though it is near impossible if you enjoyed and want more videos like this be sure to subscribe